This is the world's first baby to be born with DNA from three people. His mother carries faulty mitochondria, which led to the deaths of two of her previous children. This time she turned to this scientist in New York City to apply a cutting-edge fertility technique for the very first time. It's a revolutionary research. Uh, it took uh, 20 years to make this technique can help certain patients to avoid to carry the to have a baby to have a fatal genetic disease. So this is, to me, is one of the very important parts. His team began with the mother's egg with its faulty mitochondria and removed its nuclear DNA. A donor egg from another woman with healthy mitochondria also had its nucleus removed and replaced by the mother's. That was then fertilized with the father's sperm and then implanted into the mother. Mitochondrial diseases are a range of conditions that can cause problems in almost any part of the body, from the eyes to the heart, muscles or brain. They're debilitating, sometimes fatal, and they affect around 1 in 5,000 people. Scientists at Newcastle University have developed their own technique to prevent mothers passing faulty genes onto their children. Their method is pending approval from the regulators before it can be used in clinics. Because these techniques are not allowed in the United States, the scientists behind today's announcement went to Mexico, where there are no rules. That's led to mixed feelings amongst many scientists. Part of me is cautious. I don't know enough information to me, for me to be 100% certain um, that everything is as I would like it to be, to be really celebrating. That lack of detail will raise many ethical and technical questions. Even so, this technique has now been proved in people, a firm step into a new world of genetic therapy. Alok Jha, News at 10.